Hello students, today's practical class we are going to understand the demonstration of the charge sensitiveness of the given BG and how to determine it in the lab. Aim of this experiment is to determine the figure of merit or charge sensitiveness of a given BG by the method of charging and discharging. Alright, to measure the charge sensitiveness CS, we need to measure the applied voltages in the circuit and uh, C refers the capacity of the capacitor and P and Q are the resistances applied in the you know variable resistance boxes which are included in the circuit and theta is the throw absorbed and lambda is the logarithmic decrement which we are going to measure. All right. Using this circuit only we are going to wire up and uh, we are going to determine the charge sensitiveness of the BG. You can see uh, there is a EMF connected to P and Q as the resistance boxes and the capacitor C is connected and there is a key charge vibrator and discharge key which also included in the circuit and similarly there is a comm commutator and the BG is also connected. All right, this is the given BG for which we are going to determine the charge sensitiveness and uh, this is the power supply a voltage close to 1.5 is set in this power supply and uh, resistance boxes P and Q are connected as shown in the circuit and uh, capacitor C is connected and this is the commutator and this is the charge discharging and vibrator key and uh, from commutator uh, the BG is connected as shown. Now so to observe the you know uh, charge sensitiveness we need to record the formula P by theta which is you know shown in this formula. Alright to find the value of P by theta we need to have different combinations of P and Q and we are going to absorb the throw recorded in the BG by changing the commutator directions. For example, the P first value is set as 1000 and Q the value is set as 9000 and the C value is set to 0.1 into 10 that is 1 microfarad. Now we shall record the first reading for the value of P that is 1000 ohms and Q 9000 ohms. Now the charging discharging key is pressed and released. Now let us see how the reading By changing the commutator's direction, we can record in the other direction. Now we can see the commutator keys are changed. Now we are going to use the charge discharging key to record the reading. Now we can see I am going to release this key, it goes on right side. Likewise the P and Q combinations can be changed to the next reading. For example, change to the second combination that is P value is 2000 and Q value is 8000. By adding P and Q we should get 10,000 in such a way the combinations are repeated with different values of P and Q and the readings of the BG for both the directions of the commutator can be recorded. Now let us see the reading for the combination P as 8000 and Q as 2000. Commutator is set uh, for the right deflections and I am just pressing. So once again you can see for this combination how the reading goes. Now the readings can be recorded in this tabulation as shown and you can calculate the mean theta value from the left and right throw 
which we have observed for different combinations of P and Q. Then we can go for the determination of P by theta and the mean value can be recorded. The value of P by theta can be substituted in this formula but we need to calculate what is the value of lambda. Lambda is nothing but the logarithmic decrement. The logarithmic decrement lambda can be calculated by observing the throws for theta 1 and theta 11 that is when the BG is set for free throw the deflections theta 1 and theta 11 can be recorded from those readings lambda can be calculated with the help of this formula. To record the free throw that is theta 1 and theta 11 the BG can be connected with one of the terminals directly to the power supply like this. This is the wire directly connected and the other wire without connecting it we can hold it uh, nearby and uh, <coughs> we can uh, press these two leads through the body so that uh, the BG can give the throw freely. Let us see how it is. Now the two other wires can be pressed with the hands. Now the throw can be recorded like for example it goes left it is theta 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. For the 11th reading it is 26. The theta 1 uh, reading was 39. So using theta 1 and theta 11 we could calculate the lambda. So by substituting the value of P by T from, from this tabulation and by substituting the EMF of the battery that is E and capacitance value used in the capacitor box C, P plus Q which adds up to 10,000 and by substituting the value of lambda we could calculate the charge sensitiveness of the given BG. You can see how the observation and calculations are done. You can see this is the observation and this is the lambda calculation and uh, the CS can be calculated by substituting the values of E, C, P plus Q, P by theta and lambda. The values can be recorded in terms of micro coulomb per division. So the results for the charge sensitiveness can be given as shown in this view.